Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, actually, uh, I think a few days ago, my channel has already reached 10 years old. So today, we'll just it'll just be a video where we have a look at my channel over the past 10 years, what videos I've created, like why did I create all these videos? Basically, my, my whole YouTube journey for the whole 10 years. And then I'll talk about how to build a YouTube channel. Okay, so yes, now we are here actually at the latest version of my YouTube channel. I kind of changed it a bit and I have my popular upload and self-improvement playlist, my physician, lifetime vlog, lifestyle vlogs, and then all about running and marathons, but I'm creating more and more playlists, so kind of get a bit more confusing. I'll, I'm still thinking how to organize that, but yeah, there's Actually, when I'm doing this, the latest video just got uploaded, how I built a 300k business during my gap year and six tips for aspiring entrepreneur. Quite interesting, maybe you should check it out. But now let's scroll back all the way to the beginning. So, my when I started in 2012, 2012 so my I created my channel in 2011. I have no idea why I forgot why I did that, but in 2012, I uploaded my first video, which is actually this plants video. It's really a random video which I just created using Windows Movie Maker. It was very easy to like just drag, drag and drop, add music to it, and then yeah, I created something, and then I was like, yeah, let's post it on YouTube. And then I was actually actively promoting this video to well. my family members, my friends, or whatever. Like, hey, check out my YouTube channel. I made one video or something like that. So yes, that's my first one. But I think I'm not sure when exactly I uploaded this because I don't want to look at all the dates. Uh, each of the dates, but around September, I, st I started playing Minecraft right after my first major exam. And then after that, I created a few Minecraft videos. Uh, yeah, like all of this is written eight years ago, but I think Minecraft Undersea Train is probably the last, last video of 2012. Yeah, so I made three Minecraft videos in 2012 because I don't know, like, I'm not sure why I did that, but. I guess I'll just like come to uploading things which I find cool. But actually I'm most impressed with my party rock finger style, which is actually a school dance for the sports day. And I kinda change it into like using my fingers and yeah. Looking back, I think it's a bit funny and I'm not sure if it got copyright claims because I was literally using the party rock song in the in the background, but it's cool. I actually like how why I, I, I I'm very impressed that I actually did that. Then in 2013, I started the year off with a Chinese New Year Lion Dance, literally just a video recording the whole Lion Dance thing. But yeah, because I by that time, I started watching all those gaming YouTuber videos and all those videos about Minecraft, and I wanted to be a Minecraft gamer YouTuber. So I started creating a lot of all these uh, Minecraft videos, I think all the way until like Minecraft Christmas Chaos. I think this is the like last video of 2013 yeah and then of course i have a good friend mm, sapidas jason jason tay i'm not sh uh not sh i think he used both names in some of the videos so i played some games with him like i think hungry games and yeah that was like i think this first time human saw food was actually a a video together with him yeah like it literally a class trip something like that. so in 2013 i was just making like a bunch of e videos. I wanted to start out being a Minecraft YouTuber, but I'm interested in redstone as well. That's why I made like vending machine. Yes, for some reason I made like Minecraft property zone. I, I'm like a fan of making houses and all that. So yeah, it's cool that I made like houses, which I like. My I think my this the first episode is based on my own house, and then the second episode is based on the house from my Lego set, something like that. So yes, I built. I, mean, I made like some interesting videos on on my channel but yes i'm particularly impressed with carry on version 2 which i'm very like i have no idea why am i so brave to just upload that that that, that song that it, it literally sounds very cute if i just like listen it back again but yeah 139 view that's great even though like it's like two dislike and one likes but who cares whatever it's actually cool so in 2013, I started trying to be a gamer, YouTuber, and in 2014, um, 
now looking back at it, I'm actually quite impressed by myself because I had been fairly consistent in 2014 with I think I had videos in every single month except I think except like um, I think after September or something, I think yeah, I'm sorry but thank you, somewhere between Sims 4 and this like, I think something happened to my PC so I couldn't really make videos but yes I made a lot of Minecraft Redstone related videos like this one, Ultimate Minecraft Ride, Fireflies, there's like Hunger Games in Minecraft and I even made a Chinese New Year's series which is starting like first day of Chinese New Year that's like fireworks then Ch Lion Dance, Mahjong, Yi Sang, Egg Balancing, all that. Yeah, I'm quite impressed by my consistency. I'm fairly impressed by my consistency. So the reason I, I that inspired this Chinese New Year series is actually because of my first Chinese New Year video, which got 100 plus views. That's why I made the second one. And yes, I actually got 1.4K subscribers. I'm not sure if I have a third. I actually think I have a third one, which is 4K or something. I'm not sure, did I delete that? I'm not, I'm not very sure. But yeah, so basically I've, I've started like making tons of Minecraft videos. But the most particular one, the most particularly interesting one is actually this one, which is uh, the moon. It's actually a Chinese video because it was literally a singing video, which we have to make for our school exam. So I gathered up my friend and we recorded it. And then I was like, yeah, why not we add some? video footage into it, like make it like a reality show or something like that. So like a bit funny something like that. That's what we did and then I uploaded it here. Basically I was, I was very brave back then. I was able to like do all this stuff. And one cool thing, yeah, literally all the all the Minecraft stuff, even though they're not that popular, like Data Traveler made basically like making a pen drive in Minecraft and then hostile mode radar, which is actually very cool. But it's it's not that real and uh, not that feasible actually. But yes, then I played Sims 4, I, made, I played some Sims 4, built a house, I had a channel review 2015 and yeah, I actually made, I actually uploaded this, I, I think I, I uploaded this in 2015, earlier 2015 or 2014, I have no idea, but this became my most popular video with 100k views, cool, I, uh, people just enjoyed it, I guess, and yeah, it, 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 I, I actually feel quite lucky because it's this video that kept my my channel growing even though I when I was like being dormant like for a few years ago like people are just watching this video and subscribers are actually slowly growing something like that but yes in 2015 I mean in 2014 I'm still playing Minecraft and playing with Subdash but in 2015 uh, yeah I stopped playing with him because we were friends and then in school and then we we're not in the same class anymore and then we have different commitments because in 2015 I actually have one major exam as well kind of like the a, a checkpoint exam in a bit in the middle of like my my high school that's why I had focused on that as well but still I made sims videos minecraft videos but not that much and I started playing tower of saviors which which actually Get, got me some views as well because I basically I always try to make whenever there's like special events I just try to make those videos because I know that special events gets more views but of course the the formula of making YouTube isn't just to try to get uh, popular videos and all that it's better to make consistent videos and something that actually helps others not like just like, ooh trendy videos and all that yeah not following the trend but still yeah that's what I did yeah I mean Wait, actually no. Countdown for 2015. I am I'm so confused right now. Because I actually thought this one is like the end of 20, 2014. But apparently I think this is under 2014 as well. Like, or 2015, I have no idea. But never mind. So this two videos is actually quite cool. I was like dealing with custom ROMs on Android, all that, and then turned out to be quite popular. It's like kind of review or something like that. But yeah, I'm glad that it, it turned out to be popular. And then I played more Minecraft, but I believe in 2015 I was feeling demotivated as well because I I just didn't become as popular as I thought I'll be. So yeah, oh this is actually 2015 as well. I remember myself unboxing my phone. Then there was like Google uh, Google April Fools and then Minecraft April Fools. So it's something I always do because it just it gets a lot lot of views. 
my condition and then I clear out this. I'm just literally something that I want to do. Yeah, literally something that I just want to do. How to fix Windows 10 upgrade something. I guess this, I faced this problem. That's why I made a video. I try to help others. And then Ultra Wide Festival. This is actually terrible. This, I didn't put much effort into it. But then this cardboard dream setup, I actually placed a lot of effort into this. Yeah, I, I made the whole PC, but I didn't, I didn't end up winning, which is a bit sad, but it's fine. But yes, like towards the end of 2015, these few videos, I actually, yeah, I, it was like shorts between my friends, like skits, because I started thinking of making like short skits and short films, just because it's fun. And I, I'm inspired by all those comedy YouTubers, so I started that. And then in 2016, yeah, 2016, I actually left my previous high school and I'm now in homeschool. But yeah, I made a 4K version of Lion Hunt, which is terrible. The quality is terrible, actually. It's like 30 FPS or something. But yeah, because I just got a phone with 4K recording capability, so I thought it would be cool doing that. But yes, I did a Minecraft April Fool's video also, and then a proper comedy skit. Do you mean that Android is better? I'm glad that yeah, the music on this is quite good. And actually, my first short film, A Little Loneliness, which is... Yeah, looking back, the plot is actually good, but our skills just aren't there. But it's still something that's that's worth looking at. And I think that's it for like 20, 2016. Like, hello, from 4K video test to Hello Loneliness, which is like very few videos. Yeah, I wanted to make comedy videos, but then... First, it, it takes a lot of effort to do that, and then you, you need other people, so... Uh, I didn't have a car or whatever, my friends have to come over, which is not easy for me, so I only made two of them, like short film and the uh, Android Spatter thing. The short film actually took around three days to record, which is not easy at all. But yeah, I'm glad I did that. But also this caused me to feel demotivated after all that, and I just didn't feel like doing, doing it anymore. Yeah, so... Literally after that, I, I made a club match where I think time lapse. This is literally just if like things of which I want to do. I think that hey, it'd be cool doing this. Let's see how it turned out. So this is something I just did, and then I just uploaded it in 2017, I think. But yes, in 2018, so I uploaded three videos, and all these are actually just competition submission. And this video in particular, how I prepare myself for the future in 60 seconds. I thought I'm actually winning that competition, but I end up getting a consolation prize. Yeah, it's fine. It's like a 50 ringgit Starbucks card. But yeah, it's actually the camera stopped recording suddenly just now. So yeah, now I'm back. So 2015, uh, 2018, I, I was like making just competition submission here. But after 2016, between 20, 2016 and 20, 2021, there's basically nothing. Like I'm not making any videos there. Between that, I, I did, uh, I was like preparing for my IGs and then I went into university as well. Yeah, like quite a lot happened. This competition submission is all during my first year, I think, during my first year. But yes, in 20, 2021, the reason why I actually started now, I have like 12 videos. Oh uh, yeah, do today. Let's actually refresh and see what, how many views do we get. Oh, we have six views, but yeah, it's cool. So yeah, in 20, 2021, I started making YouTube videos because I was inspired by Ali Abdal. Yeah, he's like my mentor for YouTube, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, inspired by Adi Abdel. So I decided to start doing YouTube to build my actually my personal branding. And then, but before actually I started YouTube, I did my podcast because I find a podcast is just a lot easier. It's a lot easier to do podcasts where you, it's less likely that you get judged. It's easier to you to, to put yourself out there without a face or something like that. So I, I started my podcast with my girlfriend. And then a month later, I started my YouTube because it makes sense that YouTube is like a digital asset and digital asset is something that's valuable in the future so it keeps on generating money and all that yeah so why not why not just like create a YouTube channel and of course of course one thing being an asset it will generate income as well so it can be a potential side income in the future but yeah, so until now, I've been fairly consistent. I've been doing two videos per week, which is something I hope to keep like for quite some time because according to Ali Abdel, um, you need to be consistent for like around two years, making at least 100 videos, then every single week, 
then you should be able to reach a stage where you can actually start to monetize your videos. So that's what I'm trying to do, trying to achieve. But and yes, that's basically my, my YouTube channel. That was like I think there's like 100 plus video and if I look at it now about I have 141k views total. Which is cool. I'm quite glad that I, I actually started this. But mm, yes. So that's basically the history of my YouTube channel. Don't mind me just reading off of the script because like, I actually have like, script prepared. So, like, today is like a casual video where I just like review it. So it's basically my history of my YouTube channel and it's actually this this I'm, I'm in my second month restarting this. So my first month I think I had eight videos until here and then I guess I'm my second month. So yes, uh and the, the rule that I'm keeping to right now is that I'm trying to make one informative video at least one informative video every single week and that will be the video for Saturday and at least two videos per week so another video on Wednesday that will be like a casual video it can be informative but otherwise it can be casual as well that's why I've been making like vlogs uh, casual talk me opening like Pokemon cards yeah other vlogs all that stuff and actually the interesting thing is that if if we have a look at my analytics, if we have a look at my analytics, let me just go ahead to creators. How do I create that? Uh, ram, 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 switch accounts. Yes. Let me just go ahead and go to my creator account. And you can actually see that my my views as uh, my views has actually doubled compared to previous months. I think I'll just put the whole thing here and then let me just get back to this. Uh, it's easier for me to just take a screenshot and put it on the screen compared to like last month. And the view count, has, uh, view count and watch times, both of them have doubled. So yeah, it's like it's actually showing progress. But of course, uh, what I did is that I actually share my videos on three social media, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn as well, because it's actually quite important for other people to, to know that what you're doing now, because it's very, very hard for people to just explore you on like, YouTube, because the algorithm is nowhere friendly for new YouTubers. But uh, yeah, so, okay. Now, now, now let's get into the part where we talk about building YouTube and and people, when, when, when they hear that, okay, I, what I did is that I put two videos up consistently every single week and one informative video at least every single week. And of course, I do share them on three of my social media, but people are most afraid when it comes to sharing to like other places. Maybe uploading it on YouTube is fine, but sharing onto Facebook, letting other people know that what you're doing this is actually quite embarrassing. But actually, don't, don't feel that because first, People are always too busy thinking about how people think of them. So therefore, you actually don't need to think about how people think of you because they're too busy thinking about how people think of them. So yeah, not, not many people do actually care about you. Second is that you are actually sharing uh, inform, inform, informative stuff and then like useful knowledge. So why are you why are you why are you ashamed of that? So it's fine like even if people see it it's fine it's like good videos and all that but yes so uh, basically as of now as of now what what i've been doing like two months in i would just say that in order to build your youtube there's two simple ways uh always share knowledge for free creating informative content and at least one video per week so and around after like two years you will make around 104 videos and you should be able to reach a stage where you can monetize your video you should be, you should be able to reach at least a thousand subscribers and then four thousand watch time a year that's where you can start earning ads money and yes the second thing is that you need to share your video on multiple social media together with a nice caption or an interesting paragraph so don't just share it there like share it there and, and talk about the the purpose of this video like like usually like what i uploaded today it will be how i built a three hundred thousand dollar business during my gap year and then you can just like put it up there and you know talk about 
uh, th this is like a very important experience for you and yeah just make something that people will read and after reading it if people are interested then they, they will click into a video so yes that's basically the two advice i'll give consistently making videos and make sure you share them on social media to gain exposure and um, yes of course actually because now i'm two months in on i'll be actually exploring more in the future maybe making instagram reels youtube shorts and promoting onto more social media because now i actually haven't started promoting on instagram because i haven't figured out the proper way to do that i'll, I'll do that soon but but just um, after i find out the way i don't want to just post on stories and all that I, I might want to make them into reels and then upload it there. that's what i've been doing but uh, yeah if you want to start out on youtube the two things what i said should be enough and then along the way you can just implement more things and of course Actually, I'm thinking of maybe making at least one video per month, like just tracking my progress of my YouTube because I find it quite interesting. Like one month in, things just double. So I need to see the following months, how would it be? Therefore, I, I might be making a video about it. But yes. So if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Maybe consider checking out my previous video where I actually shared the 10 lessons of of being a student entrepreneur yeah it's it's not here yet of course it's not here yet it's gonna upload it's gonna be uploaded when this video is uploaded so yeah <laughs> or you can actually check out the ink thoughts channel which is actually a podcast channel created by me and my girlfriend Marie, which is the podcast which i talk about and we discuss about incongruous thoughts every single week but yes other than that thanks everyone for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video goodbye